Hey guys, this is Mark again regarding uh, ITRM. ITRM has a drug that's near FDA approval, or should be, uh, and there's been some confusion for stockholders that do not know how to vote no for reverse split. So I found the proxy uh, online, as you can see, uh, and there's a number of questions here, but the one that's very, very important uh, is to approve subject to and conditional upon the board of directors determining it in its sole discretion that a re, uh, reverse share split is necessary for the company to comply with the minimum one dollar per share requirement uh, this is something that uh, we should vote against now i'm not going to read it all here because uh you know you can do that yourself but what you need to do is contact your broker and you need to uh, tell them that uh, you want this proxy vote. Uh, you can do it online. You can go to proxyvote.com. Now, let's start at the beginning of the document. Okay. First of all, this was filed uh, with the SEC, Securities Exchange Commission. Uh, it was filed uh, and submitted on April 25th. Just a few short days ago. Now, there are several brokers, uh, even brokers of people that have 2 million shares, that are misinforming their uh, uh, shareholder, the people that hold these shares, that it's the company's decision and it's a done deal. Well, it's not a done deal. You have the right to vote no against this reverse split. And it's critically important that you do that. We, as shareholders, are in control of what they do. If you allow them to just continue to uh, dilute uh, and to hold off on doing their job, it, that's the way this company will go. So we have to vote no, and you have to get as many shareholders as you can to vote no. Okay, so let's look through this. This is the typical application. Here's a, here's the company name. Again, it was done on April 25th. It tells you that your vote counts. Uh, I'm going to put the, uh, I want you to see this. It's an SEC report document. And then uh, uh, you can see the top here, the number. Make sure you go to that. Okay. Read through this. And here it says, important notice regarding availability of proxy materials for the shareholder meeting to be held on June 15, 2022. Your vote counts. Interim Therapeutics PLC annual general meeting, June 15th, at 3 p.m. Irish time, Interim Therapeutics PLC, Fitzwilliam Court, first floor, lesson closed, Dublin, Ireland. You're you're invested in Interim Therapeutics PLC, and it's time to vote. You have to wrote, write to vote on proposals being presented at the annual general meeting. Get informed before you vote. View the notice and proxy statement and annual report online at www.proxyvote.com or you can receive a free paper okay you can get a paper vote uh, if you would like to request a copy of material for this and or future shareholder meetings you may visit www.proxyvote.com or call 800-579-1639 send an email to send mail at proxy vote.com if you're send if you're sending an email please include your control number indicated below in the subject line unless requested you will not otherwise receive a paper or email copy to view the proxy materials and to vote visit www.proxyvote control number smartphone users uh, point your camera here and vote without entering a control number vote in advance of the meeting. Now I'm looking for that QR code. I do not see a QR code here, do I? No. So voting on this is very, very important. Okay, uh, th this is the same paragraph. Let's go back. To approve subject to an upon board determined sole discretion that a reverse split is necessary for the company to comply with the minimum $1 per share pursuant to NASDAQ listing. A reverse share split, a consolidation of share capital under Irish law, or the reverse share split 
whereby every 15 shares, each an authorized and unissued authorized and issued share capital will be consolidated into one share. Very bad. Uh, reduction in the nominal value of the ordinary shares is in the authorized and unissued authorized and issued share capital of the company from 15. Read this yourself. I'm telling you right now, you have to vote no. Okay, that's my opinion. I'm not giving you financial advice. But if you don't vote no, they're going to have that many more shares. And I guarantee you, the day of the reverse split, if it's 15 to 1, it's uh, let's say it's, a, it's, it's 27 cents now. They'll put 15 of those together, right? Uh, let's see. That's four quarters equals a dollar. Uh, let's say that 12... Uh, three. Let's let's say the stock comes out to five dollars. All right, I'm not going to do the math in my head right now, but let's say it comes out to five dollars. I will guarantee you that five dollar share will drop to two fifty, maybe two twenty a share, and then later it'll come up a little bit. Now all of you people say, oh, well, if we don't reverse split, then we might get delisted. And what are we going to do? Well, even a company that's in the OTC can be bought out. If you're at uh, at the close uh, point of getting a FDA approval, the company most likely is going to get bought out anyway. But if you let this reverse split happen, they're going to have extra money. They can carry this on for years, years. And what do they care? Look at the salary that the CEO gets. The CEO gets so much money. All those employees get so much money. What's their motivation? What's their incentive? The incentive has to be from the shareholder, and you vote no. You put a big walloping, you know, 50 million shares together cumulatively. I don't care if you have one share. We need your vote to be no, and, and we need you to contact us so we can publicize how many no votes we have because we can change the course of this disaster. I'm Mark Nedrum from Newsweek.com. I'm not giving you financial advice. I am just giving you my hope that you will vote no on this reverse split because reverse splits are a crock of bull. And I hate them. Let's see what else they got in here. They got a couple other links. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to cut and paste this link so you can just click on it at YouTube. Cool. See. Uh, let's hope you listen to me. Mark Nedgeman, Newsweek.com. Oh, one last thing. If I can help more people, at least give you them my ideas, I need to get a thousand uh, users on YouTube uh, so that, you know, I can actually stay alive doing this. Now, I own a lot of shares, uh, 500,000 in this company. Uh, but, you know, the stock market is such a great place uh, for for building companies that are going to employ people. I don't care if it's in Ireland or in America. You have to keep the equity market straight and honest. Otherwise, that equity would not be available to build companies. If we don't build companies, we don't have jobs. And then we're going to have to rely on the government which I hope none of you are foolish enough to believe that the government would ever be appropriate to take care of you. They won't. Mark from Newsweed.com. You can go on Newsweed.com and see this video, but you can watch it here on YouTube too. Thanks for your time.